Soso Jamabo and the Wolves wanted to deal a crushing blow to Allen in the District 10-5A title chase, but Oklahoma commit Jamuni McNeese and his guys came ready to play. McNeese announced his presence with authority. Look at him go up and throw down this ferocious alley-oop for the game's first two points. That's how you start a game. But Plano West would lead most of the way. In the second quarter, Avery Johnson Jr. slices through the defense, hits the floater, and draws the foul. Much to the delight of his dad. Third quarter here, off the steal. Jamabo races ahead of the pack and throws it down for the jam to put the Wolves up eight. But Allen would get a rally going. Check out the great crossover and impossible reverse layup by Nick Rutherford for a two of his game high 25. Then this layup by Myron Fisher gave the Eagles a 57 to 56 lead early in the fourth quarter. But Jamabo had the answer. Trailing by three, he pulls up from behind the arc and knocks it down to tie the game with 2.30 to play. Wild sequence here with under two to go. Johnson tries to make something happen. Finds himself trapped under the basket, so he kicks it out to Jamabo, who buries a huge three to send the crowd into a frenzy. And as Allen tries to rush for a quick two the other way, DJ Hogue is there defensively with the emphatic squad. That's what I'm talking about. Fast forward to the end. Allen needs a three to tie with one second left. They try to throw it to midcourt, but Jamabo knocks it away, and that's it. Plano West wins an absolute thriller, 71 to 68.